Researchers presented updates of studies on corn, cotton, and soybeans at a field day in northeast Louisiana. Toby Blanchard with the LSU Ag Center attended the field day along with many farmers growing crops in that area and has this report. Farmers gathered at the LSU Ag Center Northeast Field Day to hear from agriculture scientists about their research. Studies include variety evaluation, pest, weed, and disease management research, and cotton defoliation projects. The station's resident coordinator, Donnie Miller, said researchers conduct long-term projects while having the flexibility to tackle issues that need immediate attention, such as herbicide-resistant weeds. Recent flooding in areas of northeast Louisiana may have complicated this problem. There's concern that we had some of these, the, the resistant weed seed, palm amaranth, so forth, carried down in some of these flood, flood waters and deposited out on fields. At the field day, Miller presented information from his research on a new herbicide, Zizua, which could help in the fight against weeds resistant to the herbicide glyphosate. In our trials this year, Zidua has performed very well from a residual standpoint, gave us great grass control, great pigweed control, which is very important. Miller said dry weather has been a problem for growers this year. The station was fortunate to get rain at crucial times, but some farmers were not. LSU Wax Center corn and cotton specialist John Cruz said irrigated corn looks promising, but yields of dry land corn will likely vary. One grower down the road may have picked up the occasional thunderstorm and that may have made all the difference, whereas another grower a few miles away missed it and uh, his corn just never got the moisture that it needed to finish out the crop. Harvest on dry land corn could start in the next few weeks. Crews added that the state's cotton crop looks mixed because much of it is grown without irrigation. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, this is Toby Blanchard with the LSU Ag Center. Agriculture contributes the most money to the Northeast region's economy, and farmers in the area depend heavily on the research conducted at the Northeast Research Station.